Yes, it actually is. With these features and changes, this is the Windows 10 we actually want. We're gonna try out Fluent Ice 10 and compare it to the Windows 11 version 22H2. Straight onto the desktop. The changes present in this mod are significant with small icons on the desktop instead of normal size icon like on Windows 11. Ignoring the changed wallpaper, the taskbar was changed into the Windows 10 version with the start menu and its layout round a corner touch and some nit bits thanks to the explorer patcher and halal start moving on the search and task view are still bearing the original windows 11 design and ux oh also don't forget cortana which is there but uh yeah it's discontinued oh no anyway Clicking at the right bottom of the screen, instead of Windows 11's control center, we are getting the Windows 10's action center with the new Windows 11 design as this is actually taken from a Windows 11 beta build. Pretty interesting and it's functional by the way. One significant addition seen in here is the sidebar gadgets present at the right side of the screen. It behaves as if it is Windows Vista sidebar feature with the glued at the right side function. You can add new gadgets, move your gadgets out to the side, play some puzzle or whatever. Nice touch and decoration. Right clicking the desktop brings different types of context menu as you can see in this comparison thanks to Nealsoft who did it. Digging a bit deeper in this mod, you can see that the file explorer has had its style reverted to the Windows 10's ribbon style. But in this case, it's done correctly design-wise by aligning with the Office, no, it's not Microsoft 365, with the Office design with duochromatic icons as you can see. It's nice to see this kind of design that intentionally matches how Windows 11 would initially be intended to take path to. Another part is that this isn't even made by Microsoft. Not only does this nice touch of UI exist in Explorer, but as you can see in this control panel, the icons were modernized to match Windows 11's design like. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. You think that this level of detail just stops in here? Oh, <laughs> no way, mate. Look at this Windows Media play well, Player. The icons, buttons, and overall look of the program are fluentized and don't fully scream the Windows 7 design remnants. Speaking of Windows 7 design remnants, these aren't technically design remnants, but rather feature remnants. The personalization applet is functional and easily accessible to the control panel as it is Windows 7 all over again. Anyway, themes in this mod maintain its Windows 11 bundle themes. What was changed are the default Windows light and dark mode, which uses the prototype wallpaper seen in the calculator catalog pictures on the Microsoft Store. Like what Rectify 11 does, this mod also changes the icons of applications such as Dialer, Command Prompt, and System Information. All of these aren't updated application in Windows 11, but the attention to update the icon to fit with Windows 11 design is just damn great. Oh, one thing that I want to talk about very hard, a tiny but beautiful de detail in MS Styles. As I open the combo box in this run dialog, it shows this nice flyout animation as if it's a modern Windows 11 XAML component, even though actually this is Win32 Direct UI component. I really awed by this kind of attention to detail to mods. As this is technically Windows 11, specifically Windows 11 21H2 build 22.0258, as you can see on the WinVer, settings, and WinRO tweaker. You can install a modern application and it is fully supported as of the video's creation, such as Algodoo, a physics simulation app, and Audacity, an audio editor app, both of which are running perfectly. Even Audacity records my clock ticking. <coughs> 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 This awesome job, led by Lixcote and assisted by others, is really nice to come into fruition, even though it comes with its own flaws and quirks. Wood pattern paint doesn't have quite the same fluent design as File Explorer does, as well as both two can't change icons inside, making it still has Windows 7 or Vista remnants. Task Manager doesn't change its design, clock is missing in a clock flyer, which makes me confusing. Some programs doesn't change its icons, such as certutil.exe. 
aside from the flaws, these are just fragments of what's in his mod. You can check it out, the link will be in the description. If you want to see what feature that briefly appears in Windows 10, then check this video. Meanwhile, like and subscribe. Thank you for my support for making this video possible and also don't forget to check this video out.